and welcome to Release Your Wings. I'm Dan Bagley, and tonight I'm interviewing Shireen Chadha. You know, a while back there was a Gallup poll that found that the number one reason that people quit their jobs is dissatisfaction with their bosses. If this is something that resonates with you, maybe we'll have something to offer, because tonight's topic is dealing with difficult bosses. So, Shireen, have you ever felt that way? And if so, what, what would you say to others who have? Um, I did have difficult bosses, uh, and I felt that I had to make changes myself. Uh -huh. And interestingly enough, um, I started working pretty much the same time I started doing my meditation practice. Mm -hmm. And so both of them happened at the same time. My here, work, in the, here in the United States? Yeah, I, I never worked in India. Uh -huh. So it was here in the United States, and as soon as I started working, I started my meditation practice, so I was implementing a lot of what I was learning in my meditation uh -huh. practice. And it worked. Mm -hmm. A lot of them worked. So what you're saying is the boss got easier, or you were just able to deal with her, him? Um, I think both. Uh -huh. I think both. What happens is there one concept we have in the Brahma Kumaris is giving pure feelings to people. And so when someone is being difficult, if I have pure feelings for them, then not only do I change my perspective about them, but also the whole atmosphere changes around that situation. And it did change many, many times. Ah, so maybe it takes two to be in a difficult boss situation. Is that what I'm hearing? Right. And you know, they are human beings too. They have their own stresses and difficult things, and they must be facing deadlines and all of that. And so I was also seeing them that way. Ah. that they are really having their own challenges that day mm -hmm. and to really have pure feelings. So there's a concept that some people use called generous listening. Mm -hmm. And that is when you're listening to someone, you aren't arguing with them so much as you're listening for the what's good about it or what is to understand. Is that something like having the pure feelings? Yeah, yeah. And also genuinely to look at them and to look at them as who they are and not the role they're playing as a boss right now. Yeah but go beyond all of the roles and see them as that soul, as that being that is trying their best. Now, I can imagine not everyone, but some people in, in our audience are saying, oh yeah, but you don't know my boss. Are there some bosses that are impossible to abide, to enjoy, to appreciate? or? Um, I wouldn't want to be judgmental uh -huh. um, about either the boss or the person who's not able to get along. Yeah. Um, but I feel that if I am a rose, I can be a rose in any situation. Ah, nice metaphor. I don't need to... Um, I, I, I feel like there are roses and there are thorns. And mm -hmm. the rose is about giving fragrance, about being loving mm -hmm. and sweet. And then there's the thorn that mm -hmm. comes with the rose. And thorn is that I'm looking at defects, I'm hurting people right. and all of that. And so I feel if someone else is hurting me, mm -hmm. Um, to understand that it is that they must be hurting inside mm -hmm. to be hurting me. And also, if they are hurting me, that they must be a thorn. And you don't really expect anything else from a thorn except they're going to prick you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so within this, I'm wondering the role of boundaries. In other words, at some point we do need to say, I'm sorry, but this is inappropriate behavior or I don't right. respond well to this type of thing. Is that... Uh, yes, definitely. I, I've had those kinds of talks before yeah. with my, a couple of my bosses. Um, right. And it is important to have open and respectful conversations mm -hmm. about it. And if you're not able to, then always go to human resources or something, which right. I've done also in the past. <laughs> <laughs> so it isn't all goodness and light. Sometimes there, you get to be... The thorn. Um, because I'm going to human resources. Or I guess you're just actually using a boundary there. In your metaphor, the thorn is always bad. Right. Um, and I don't feel that way. I feel yeah. that for me to be a rose, I have to protect myself. Mm. And it is good to have good wishes. But if people are overstepping boundaries... See, I, I have the rose as such an entity that part of the rose is the thorn. So if not handled correctly, 
you feel the pain. Right. But that doesn't mean the rose goes out of its way to create pain. Right. right. It's a consequence of, it's what we call a natural consequence. Perhaps. Right. Right. Now this thing, uh, by the way, in line with what you're saying, I think Eleanor Roosevelt said that nobody can really make you feel inferior without your permission. So your, your, your metaphor of the rose, if I'm a rose, I can be the rose anywhere. Right. Uh, that, that's very powerful. Have you actually seen the boss transform? Yes, yes. Uh -huh. Many times, actually. Um, um, believe it or not, this whole going to the human resources didn't work as well yeah. as the good wishes, ah. the pure feelings. That really worked. <laughs> so, in a funny way, aside from the spiritual part, which I think is powerful on that, we give off nonverbal cues all the time. And people re react to those even at an unconscious level, kind of like you can tell someone who's judging you. Right. So if you're not judging that person, if you're not having harsh feelings, you'll get less of the pushback, is what I'm hearing you say. Is that, is that right? Right, right. You know, I feel that one of the things is when we are having good wishes and pure feelings, mm -hmm. is not only do you have good wishes and pure feelings, and I feel that really brings about cooperation. Mm -hmm. I've noticed it time and time again. It is something that I've experienced it. It right. brings cooperation from people. But on, on the other thing, that I'm able to look at myself objectively and see what is it that I have to change. Ah. Oh, now you're getting personal. You <laughs> mean sometimes it might be my fault if I can't get along with the boss. Yeah, many times actually. It is yeah. my fault. <laughs> and so I was yeah. thinking that if I focus so much on what's wrong with the other person, mm -hmm. then I forget what is it that I have to change. Yeah. But if I have good wishes and pure feelings, and then I really can look at myself very gently, not harshly, yeah. at either one, myself or the other person, and see what is it that I have to change. So in the biblical admonition, judge not that you be judged, that's kind of like if you're doing heavy judgment, you're probably judging yourself or pushing away from the judgment of yourself. Is that, uh, I mean, I, I may be stretching that. Uh, right. You know, it's important to look at ourselves honestly mm -hmm. uh, because we do contribute to situations in many ways. And so it's when I'm saying to look at what is that I have to change, it's not that I'm judging myself right. as much as really changing. And I feel... Um, even if my boss right changes mm -hmm. completely, he comes in the rose the next day. Yeah. If I don't change myself, I will not feel that I'm progressing in life. Ah. So we've got two things here. We've got stimulus and response, but we've got like the rainfall and how much we can absorb, how much joy we can absorb. So if the boss does change, the rain comes and we can't absorb it, we're like concrete. Well, I don't believe them then right. nothing really is good coming out of it. No, or then we will figure out my coworker who is upsetting me. Someone will upset you. Ah. You know, if it's not the boss, then it's a coworker. Otherwise, it's the system or it's the company. Uh -huh. Whatever it is, that I'll find excuses for feeling the way I'm feeling. But if I change, then I make self-progress. So this is an interesting question because one of the tells is it it's always two, at least in that. But one of the tells might be, am I having the same problem in a slightly different variation with many others in my life, or with several others in my right. life? Would that be Or accurate? in uh, recurring jobs, different yeah. jobs. Am it's I always a boss a issue. Too, if it's a boss issue, yes. So part of this might be, because what makes the boss different than coworkers is a question of power. Do I have the power to have control over my life, to make my own choices? That's an interesting question, because if we are saying, no, I don't feel I have the power, then that might make the relationship seem all the worse. Right. I, I feel that not only do we have the power, mm -hmm. but also I feel many times we audition people for roles <laughs> that... Um, you know, we want people to play. I don't want to be too harsh, but yeah. I feel that if I want to play the victim, then, then I'll find, I'll I'll find, I'll find a tyrant. I'll yeah. find a tyrant. I'll find a tyrant anywhere. Yeah. But um, this aspect of, 
I feel this whole concept in dealing with difficult bosses mm -hmm. is not only about me, um, not only about me coming under someone's shadow, but about also making sure that I don't let anyone come under my shadow. Uh -huh. So in that concept then, that means in some ways we all get to be the employee, but we're also in some ways the boss of somebody, even if, the, even if it's just by virtue, not of the hierarchy, but of the new person in the group. Right, and I've noticed this time and time again, wherever it is in the world, mm -hmm. is usually the victims become the perpetuate, perpetrators. Yeah. And so if I don't change, then I have this tendency, would, I would have this tendency to become a perpetrator. And so I have to really, to be able to give courage to people, to be able to uh -huh. really have zeal and enthusiasm for myself, I mm -hmm. have to make that change myself. So uh, there would be those who would argue from the boss's standpoint that nobody will work like a horse unless somebody's riding them. And so in that sense, but what I'm hearing is that the joy of doing the work carries some amount of, of forward momentum of itself. And it isn't being driven forward so much as being led to do better work, which is the difference in being a boss versus a leader. Right, right. I mean, we all hope to have very good leaders, but if we don't, yeah. we have to make good use of whoever we have. Ah. And, you know, there is this term in um, the BK philosophy, which is called soul consciousness, mm -hmm. where I'm looking at them as, as a soul, not as a bodily identity right. of any concepts like uh, the gender or the color or the race and stuff like that. But when I have that vision for people, mm -hmm. I feel that whatever I do, everything will be worthwhile, that I will... Yeah accumulate something for the future. It will be experience or it will be a value that I've learned or something like that. But if I am not in that state of soul consciousness, that I'm not looking at them as really someone who's also has issues right. going on, then I feel that I'm not only not having that generosity, right. but also I'm not accumulating whatever I need to accumulate. So there is really something very powerful about that generosity of giving the other person the permission to be who they are. And often looking past the immediate behavior to maybe the hurting person, the hurting soul, uh, or hurting personality below that. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Does that make it easier to forgive ourselves then when we step out of line, when we are not the best leader boss we could be? I know, actually when we were talking about this, I was wondering if I'm talking about myself. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we're always talking about ourselves. In yeah, this. Um, yeah I, I definitely think we, it, it's easier to forgive ourselves. Yeah, so within this, <coughs> excuse me, forgiving the boss and forgiving ourselves being two sides of the same coin, does that mean learning to work with the boss means that we'll be easier to work with as other people are looking at us? You know, one of the things, though, I feel more than yeah. me having a difficult boss and me learning to deal with it is I have to see what is it that I shouldn't do to someone else. Ah, ha, ha. Yeah. I actually, uh, as a professor, I was reflecting on this uh, this week, knowing the topic, and I was thinking of the very worst professor I ever had. And much of the very good teaching I do now is I never want to be like him. And in a funny way, because I remember how wounded I felt uh, in, you know, in this guy. Actually, I think he was probably, my work wasn't very good in those days. Uh, it was, in that one, it was a poetry writing contest, not contest, in a uh, poetry writing class. But he seemed to take great gusto in the humiliating, uh, how bad it was. You know, things like, in this poem you've so well captured a 12-year-old, there's no evidence that a mind greater than 12 wrote a word of it. <laughs> you know, I didn't write for two years after that. Wow. Really. <laughs> And then when I did write, I wrote better. So I thought it was not pleasant, but in a funny way, it was his own pain, his own unfulfilled dreams, I'm sure. 
But I did learn something from it, but I had to forgive him along the way to say he had something to tell me that was valuable even though I couldn't handle it, I couldn't absorb it for a couple of years. So mm -hmm. maybe that is even bad bosses can teach us how to be without turning us into the perpetrator. Right, right. I remember a situation when I first started working. Mm -hmm. And even after the first started working, I also became a BK at that point and I was really using the knowledge that I was yeah. receiving. And I used to get up in the morning meditation and my first 15 minutes was send them good wishes, send him good wishes, send him good wishes. And it worked out so well. And yeah. I feel that there was such a sense of detachment that I didn't take things personally anymore. Yeah, yeah. I hope this helps us and those watching enjoy their bosses a little bit better. Thank, Thank you, you for joining us. Thank you, Shri.